You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shimmer's forgotten it's even there. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the right to calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Except today, that is. Afraid the old buttes pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh, know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. Y'all just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. We could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juno. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Sormer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well, can we rent some birds? Can we? <laughs> Pleasure to see you all again, and welcome to my humble ranch. Managed to get your truck fixed? Indeed I did. You must have been my lucky charms. She started up right after you left. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever. Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! It's all the side. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. 
Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um, why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Bingo. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Good bird. Isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> you know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> what does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Ah, there's our guy. <laughs> Nothing beats a little taste of home, now does it? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Not so much as a feather out of place. Got one healthy bird here. Enough to ride? Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's out of spill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the idea. If we ask him nice. Ain't that right? 
I'll need to prep his gear and all that, so why don't you wait outside? Hey, Paul. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. You do remember me, don't you? I knew you would. It was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But, to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow, as will the area I can survey. I might even be able to construct a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. If we find any. We'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Here we are. preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead of you. And remember, you're not in this alone. Should you require assistance, just ask. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here. You just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. 
won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since Mom and Dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Not terrible, but hey, now that you got the basics, it's just a matter of practice. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Oh hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure! Cloud? Thoughts? Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Everyone, please! Ugh. I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix them. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up, how can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity, or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house.
I just knew you'd go for the foxtails. I swear, I can read you like a book. That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. So cute, and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. A few more couldn't hurt. Vibrant. So you like deep, passionate reds, do you? All right, that should probably be enough. Let's go get him to Chloe. Look at all of these. Thank you. It was our pleasure. I'm kind of worried though. What if mine's not as pretty as mom's? Well, lucky for you, I just so happen to be a florist. I'd be more than happy to help you put one together. Really? <laughs> we'll make two. Right, Cloud? Sure. Look. Gosh, it's... It's definitely unique. One of a kind. Maybe, but unique is exactly what I wanted. I love it. Thank you. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy! Here, for you. Oh, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs>